Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, absolutely magnificent 1976 um, Land Rover 101 forward control, 3.5 V8. Pleasing to know this one's still got its original V8 in it rather than a, uh, a diesel conversion. Um, and this one is basically a gun bus. It's been built for um, a shoot down in Gloucestershire and uh, carries multiple people. It's got things like fridge and a coffee maker in it and full headlining um, all in the back. It's quite a, well, it's not luxurious, should we say, but by Land Rover standards, it actually isn't too bad in the back. It's, um, it's rather good, all nicely leather, li leather lined and everything. It's beautiful. Um, I absolutely love it had fortunes spent on it, including a lot of money over the last three years on a full repaint and uh, um, a lot of mechanical refur refurbishment, which we'll go into in the description. Um, 58,000 kilometers from new, possibly genuine, um, as an ex-military vehicle. Uh, fitted with the personnel rear body. Um, like all 101s, it probably would have started life as a soft top, um, but I think the um, According to the history, the personnel rear body was fitted by uh, the 101 Centre. Uh, I don't think they still exist, but um, uh, they've done a lot of work on this over the years. Uh, finished in blue. Nice paint job as well. Now we've got all the doors open and everything, so you can uh, see how it displays in terms of getting in and out of it. That um, step there is retractable, which just folds in. Um, on the door here you've got a, another fold down seat and you can see the sort of uh, the trim that's inside it throughout and uh, as you can see it's got full headlining with lights in set into it and everything there's your coffee maker there's your fridge got leisure batteries in it um, and usb ports and things for your executives to uh, plug their mobile phones into while they're shooting as you can see all nicely leather Leather lined, well, leather seats in there, not leather lined. Close that door for the moment and we'll fold this up as well. There we go, that's how it's uh, when you're driving along, that's what it looks like there. At the back, we've got the same arrangement except we've got a double step here, which again folds up and away. And uh, it's tailgate again, all nicely trimmed and then again in here it's you've got um checker plate on the floor for uh, so no one slips or anything splendid headlining in it just a uh, quite exceptional machine this obviously the front seat driver and front passenger are also catered for with um exmoor trim high back leather front seats Carrying on round. Rather splendid. And so we'll start from here. Um, there's very little to talk about in terms of its 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 body condition. Uh, it's painted about four years ago, and there's one or two marks and head scratches and bits where the paint has just started to come off. But uh, um, it, you know, it has been used on uh, for its true purpose, shall we say, off road and what have you. This is what a 101 should look like inside, in terms of its dash, except this one's got a sort of inclinometer up here and a, uh, a separate water temperature gauge here because the water temperature gauge in the dash there isn't working anymore. Yeah, 59,000 kilometers. But as you can see, it's got these lovely Exmoor trim seats in it. Sorry about the sun, it's getting a bit low and late in the afternoon now, so the, um, the shadows are coming in. Um, nicely finished gear lever gauge, I like that. It's also got all these uh, extra switches up here for uh, coffee maker, rear heater two, rear heater one, so it's got rear, rear heating in it, cab heater, work lights, I know it's got one above the rear door, and interior lights. Um, this one's also got overdrive, which is that one there. No, sorry, that one there. Um, that's your high low, that's your overdrive, and that's your diff lock here. Um, see inside the footwell on the driver's side, we'll show you a bit underneath it as well, as far, far as we can. Uh, 
that's the front offside. That's the rear offside. This one is MOT'd. It'd be a class seven rather than a class four, this one. Um, all in there. And then last but not least, the near side front. Such a special vehicle, this one, in my opinion. It's, um, it's getting talked about quite a lot. And then here, yeah, say so full leather for the passenger seat. Um, a couple of small marks just in the leather on the passenger seat there, but uh, no more than that. Headlining, as I say, is fantastic. Um, probably not many 101s like this. Or as um, well, say luxury in terms of Land Rovers is a uh, is a movable feast, but uh, there's probably not many 101s that are like this in the uh, in the back, certainly. I'll say a couple of areas where the paint's just chipped off and stuff, um, and a couple of hedge scratches which you might be able to see in the apart from the reflection. There's one there, one there, but she looks really, really presentable. Just really nice all round. I can't quite work out how many people you can fit in the back of that, but it is quite a lot. One, two, probably six a side, five a side. Quite a few anyway. So yes, there we have it. Rather, rather gorgeous and absolute hoot to drive as well. So, my name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com. End.